Have you ever wondered, how will healthcare look like in 2030? In a decade from now, we will probably live in a world with infinite access to healthcare. Anyone can receive care at the snap of their fingers. And how, you may ask? Well, all of this will be enabled by one simple but fundamental shift in technology. Autonomous mobility. Today we see a continuing and concerning trend of cities building more and more hospitals to meet the demand of their growing population. This may solve the problem for now, but it is incredibly expensive and not at all sustainable for the long haul. So think about this. In 2030, healthcare is decentralized. Hospitals will only consist of crucial elements that require patients to be on site. All other functions will be redistributed and made entirely mobile in a network of hyper-connected autonomous vehicles. So instead of you going to the hospital, how about the hospital going to you? Firstly, what if you could receive seamless health screening on the go? Here, we have Nicole. On the way to work, she is empowered to manage her diabetes. As part of her mobile healthcare plan, the HealthCab discreetly monitors her status by running vital measurements all in the comfort of her seat. For example, a biometric eye scan seamlessly measures her blood glucose level. Her insulin dosage is then adjusted accordingly and administered via the armrest. She then receives a reminder to top up her insulin subscription as she's running low. Wouldn't it be nice if you could enjoy prevention in your daily commute? Next, one of your doctor was always on demand and on the move. Let's meet Dr. Lim, a mobile clinician providing consultations from her healthcare vehicle. This morning, she has an appointment with teenager Jake for his weekly health coaching session. To begin the consultation, Dr. Lim activates the privacy screen. Jake's health and behavioral data appears on screen in the form of a digital twin. Dr. Lim notices that while he's in the pink of health, something is odd about his mental well-being. Her health assistant analyzes that negative exposure to social media has elevated his stress levels. Dr. Lim discusses potential areas of intervention, which Jake could adopt into his current lifestyle. With care available anytime and anywhere, now, isn't that convenient? Moving on, what if you could really optimize your time in transit to the hospital? Here we see Nina in the company of her dad. They are en route to the hospital for Nina's planned surgery. A personalized healthcare vehicle facilitates a seamless pre-op process, providing a comfortable and well-informed journey. While interacting with her favorite cartoons, the hospital monitors Nina's vitals real-time through a smart bed. Prior to reaching the hospital, Nina is sedated through a transdermal patch on her arm. The vehicle's ambient environment gradually changes into a calm, relaxing atmosphere, easing Nina into a restful sleep. The doctor informs her dad that the surgery prep is completed all vital signs are normal and they are ready to receive Nina for her operation. Imagine if surgery was that easy. Just close your eyes and go with the flow. Now, what if you don't have to be stuck in a room to receive a treatment? Let's meet Harry, who was recently diagnosed with chronic kidney disease. In a fully mobile future, Harry is liberated from the sterile dialysis chair and receives his treatment in the dialysis bus instead. He sits with his friends to catch up on the latest gossip as the vehicle seamlessly facilitates their dialysis process for the week. While they receive their treatment today, the dialysis bus takes them out of the city for a relaxing scenic tour through the mountains. How about that for your treatment? Just sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. Lastly, what if healthcare systems could dynamically adapt to your needs? Various vehicular combinations could create pop-up environments for services such as health screening, respiratory treatment, or geriatric care. Here, we see clusters of vehicles 
moving around town to manage population health based on specific community needs. In times of emergency, these adaptive clusters will provide a dynamic response for accidents or natural disasters. Managing all this from a command center, the health system controller constantly evaluates the needs of each situation, redirecting relevant medical vehicles and resources to efficiently form pop-up hospitals. Could this be the future of healthcare management? A dynamic system to address our population's ever-changing needs. With healthcare this mobile, the future is full of possibilities. What else would you like to see?